Davis and Jim Brown conjure visions of Syracuse excellence past. The name Donovan McNabb can now be permanently etched in the orange list of legends. Florida returns to the Orange Bowl for the first time since its fiery leader played his last collegiate game. Seeking an SEC milestone, they come armed with a defense that's unrelenting and still pack an offensive arsenal that can strike at any time with swift precision. It's Syracuse and Florida in the 65th annual FedEx Orange Bowl Classic. A sea of orange and blue for this one tonight. It's the Orangemen of Syracuse and the Gators of Florida in the 65th FedEx Orange Bowl Classic. John Capel and Robert Gillespie waiting on the kick. The 65th FedEx Orange Bowl is underway. Capel hesitates and brings it out. And shouldn't have. Out to go to a four wide outlook. And they usually start in two backs. And they're going to throw it out complete. The slot man gets out across second down and four to open up the drive here for Florida. And this time it is Jackson on the ground. They'll try it on the ground. McCaslin puts his head down. Syracuse quarterback with three wideouts. Looking left, going that way. First completion to first down. A completely different field. Here comes a blitz from the corner, and Florida runs right by it. All the way out to the side, the 49. Johnson to the air. Plenty of time. Long ball, man open. Got him at the 20. It's Travis Taylor. Touchdown. <laughs> 51 yards and nobody home back there to stay with him. Not by Syracuse defense this year. Inside handoff. Left side. McNabb rolls on second and four. Sets and delivers in and out of the hands. Almost intercepted. Draw play. D. Brown tripped over his the fourth. Don't miss it at ESPN.com. First down, Florida with a seven nothing lead is Terry Jackson on a crossing pattern. Tailback and he was a slot man on the opening play of the game. Play action for Johnson all day to throw wide open. Same man, Travis Taylor. He's the one that scored. Five for one thirteen. Here's another one. The fade to Taylor. He makes a catch. It's six for six, and it's another six. Touchdown, Florida. I think the guy that Johnson in motion is McIntosh. Runs into Mike. McNabb, the play fake, sets and fires. Johnson's wide open. First down for Syracuse. That's their opening first down of the ball game. Now the option keeper, McNabb, who spins his. Lost the ball. Still loose. Florida's got it. Javon Kirsch covers it at the 45 yard line. Giving it back to the Florida offense at the 45-yard line. Long ball on the sideline. This one is almost. Johnson across the middle. Completes it to the left. Nobody in the backfield and the shotgun but Johnson. And deep down the middle. Incomplete intended for D. Brown, the tailback. He gets the call. D. Brown straight up the middle. Broke a couple. And a lonely wide receiver. On the option the other way, McNabb keeps. Being chased. Pulls up and throws that here in the first quarter. McNabb got a man open. Can he get to the first down stick? Yes. Daryl Daniel front first down at the 47. Back to the ground game. He taps Donovan McNabb on the way by. McNabb will keep it. And Brad, the lone setback with McNabb in the gun. Comes back to his secondary receiver in motion. And a round coming. There it is. Maurice Jackson looking for a block. Brown broke one tackle, and he's still too tight end set. They'll keep it on the ground. D. Brown, hey, if you can't stop it, keep doing it. Syracuse team, and they're going to run right. Conrad got the hand up, but he didn't run anywhere. Well, it was the snow belt against the sun belt here in Miami today. And on the ground at the 18 yard line, first down. McIntosh looking for a block out there. It just took too long, and down he goes. There's from the shotgun, looking left the whole way, fires, and it's incomplete. 
This play will be the difference between a field goal attempt or maybe a touchdown. McNabb, his receiver, to try to get the Orangemen on the board. And he's got it. Nate Trout puts the first three up for Syracuse. The guy I'd want. They get the playoff barely. McNabb running for his life. He's going to go down for a huge loss. Gun. McNabb's got four wideouts in there. Looking for a screen pass. Conrad, blocker in front, cuts back inside, and Conrad, big play for the Orange offense. Pump fake by McNabb, wants to go long. He overshot his man on a hitch and go, and maybe would have. On the ground is Jackson. Gary Danielson challenged him <laughs> to a match the other day. Here's a throw, and it's complete to Travis Taylor. In the direction of Travis McGriff yet tonight. Now they have. It's incomplete, and Johnson's done the rest and gone the whole way since. Comes up shooting it. Out across midfield, complete. Now feast. <laughs> what a great play fake. Home run ball for McGriff. Incomplete. Because they're going to come back on fourth down and try to pick it up. And they do. Down to the 40. Well, he's proud of the fact that it's about a 50-50 mix up until this year. And here he goes back to the ground to keep possession. Jackson wrapped up in the backfield. Johnson got a blitz. Complete. First down. Again at the Syracuse 25. Johnson, plenty of time, throws a rocket again. Same man. This time it's Nafis Kareem. Left Jesse Palmer's got to take the reins. Gives it off to Terry Jackson. Cut back run, and Jackson's got it. The snap. He steps into it beautifully. Let's see if somebody falls on it just as he goes. Oh, you see it. Oh, he got man. bent down. That was a completely legal play. Yeah, actually, before the game, I talked to the coaching staff about it, and they say, yeah, Jesse Palmer is the man. He is ready to go. The drive the second one with a new quarterback who's back to throw. Crossing pattern. Touchdown, the tight end, Aaron Kinney. Palmer's one for one. The 34-yard line. Now he drops back and goes long, but it's intercepted by Tony George. Underthrown intended for McIntosh. With the ball back. Palmer will draw. Quick opener to Terry Jackson. And he's still on his feet, and Jackson goes out. Who is in the backfield, sprints out, and they're going to throw it out to him in the slot. Sort of a slot screen. He's looking over the bench. Palmer from the shotgun. Deep out, complete. And then some Nafis Kareem. They track him down, but not before. They can get a first down inside the one. Little pass inside to Jackson. Palmer now in there, second and seven from the shotgun. Crossing. Not quite to the end zone. Down at a foot. There's the sneak Gary talked about. There's the Florida touchdown. Here's the ball to the Officially, they call it two yards for the score. <laughs> Steve that time really wanted to put his helmet on in pads and just go in there and run the quarterback sneak. Rob Conrad's alone set back, but it's McNabb who comes up firing, and he's just not been in sync here all night with his wide receivers, it doesn't seem. McNabb play fake, flares it out to Conrad, and one left in the third. McNabb play fake, comes up throwing, complete, and a nice move put on out there by Johnson. McNabb rolls that way on a keeper. Lost the ball. Who's got it? Florida says they do. They do. Benny Alexander might be the guy at the bottom of that pile. He and Tony George are both holding on for dear life. Terry Jackson. Nice cutback. That have worn the orange and blue. Here he comes again. Terry with Rumble. Well, it's Enhanced TV debuting Monday night. Don't miss it at ESPN.com. The conversation you had with Coach Spurrier about the Denver Broncos and the similarities of that and some of the yards. They give him some protection back there, but he one-hops that one. Johnson in motion, the guy that took Spotwood's place. Donovan looked that way, and now he's going to improvise. And on the run, he's got another big gain. Out rushing now for Don. Rolling right, keeping again and again in the open field. 
His run has given his team a first down at the 45. Play fake and Kevin Johnson in some and a short two. And around, they fake it. McNabb pulls it down. Donovan going deep, showing his arm strength. Broken up in the end zone. Head coaching position. Third down, short yardage. Conrad just got leveled. Oh, man. McNabb almost dragged down, diving, and he didn't get there. I'm <laughs> well, sure you'll put those away down here when he comes back. Why not? One more time. Palmer throws complete. Command of the football game, 28-3. to three. Toss. And Jackson's hit a meet. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they were shut out. <laughs> he's you know, he's got money. something going That's for right. him. Third and 15. Plenty of time for Palmer. Now scrambles out. And they can find a big play to try to get back in the game. McNabb. And this time, Donovan can't get away from Gerard Warren. The big tackle. It's here. McNabb from the gun. Fires complete. Boy, he gets it there in a hurry, doesn't he? McNabb. Has to scramble again. Donovan still in trouble. Throws on the run. Two Gators there. Just outside the Syracuse. 46. <laughs> Backer tonight. Second down at seven. The toss. They fake a flea flicker, and Jackson keeps it. Third down at two. Jackson on a toss. Broke a tackle. Terry's in the open field. Tripped up. Or he would have scored. But off if they could get him a touchdown. He'll handle it again at least during a bowl game. They have one here in regular season play. Jackson. Whew, man. Bet in Florida will make more than any team in the conference, even more than Tennessee. Out of the Billy Young hole. That one is right down the middle. <laughs> one like that against Tennessee and Florida being a fiesta right now. Mm -hmm. First down for Syracuse at the 35. McNabb, the quick drop, the throw for the Gators tonight, and it has been. McNabb drops it now <laughs> on the run again. How do you see oh, that guy? Nice move. <laughs> and so does Syracuse, by the way. Syracuse has more recruits coming to visit them from Florida. Teams of Bear Bryant and all the games they want as Donovan McNabb takes off on a quarterback draw. And first down, Syracuse. Incomplete intent. I think he's got maybe the best backfield of all time with those four guys with Donovan McNabb. Well, look at that peripheral vision. I think the guy can see his ears. I swear to God. Now his ears are pinned back by <laughs> third down at 23. And again, buys time, throws it as far as he can on the run and finds a man at the 10. Maurice Jackson, touchdown. So all that effort. Here's the outside kick. Boy, they got a nice hop on it and almost pulled down, but I think the guy that's made so many catches tonight, Travis Taylor, made another one. It, it depends on um, after that game if I'm satisfied with no, um, how I finished up in college. He's the same looking plays. One went to the flat, one went to the touchdown. Gillespie on the carry this time Florida right now. And they'll run it up inside. The quarterback just to give him a little experience going into next year. I mean, Donovan is not going to break any more records tonight. Gonna break a run up the middle at least for him and That'll be his final broadcast after a brilliant broadcasting career that has set many people like myself in. Uh, I still call him Mr. Jackson. I, I know you he do. deserves it. McNabb, whoop, Collard. 13 in the final minute of action. And a penalty marker on the play and an incomplete pass. And Don Roll to help all year long as we come to the close of another season. With the exception of one more. Well, they were when the season ended. Possibly the final snap Donovan McNabb will take in that uniform. He's going to make it an exciting one, though. Watch and he's out. still on his feet. Don't get hurt for Florida here in the final few snaps. Here's a toss to Capel, and the world-class sprinter almost broke it back here in South Florida. Capel stays in bounds, and that's going to do it. Florida from the outset controlled this game. Steve Spurrier. A winning quarterback in the 67 Orange Bowl. A winning coach in the 99 Orange Bowl. And tonight his team dominates pretty much throughout the ball game. 31 to 10 is the final score. Doug Johnson a couple touchdown passes and Steve Spurrier with a lot of admiration for the losing quarterback tonight.